Mastering, should, a deep dive into modal verbs for TOEFL and IELTS. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic in English grammar that is commonly tested on the TOEFL and IELTS exams. The modal verb, should. By the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of how and when to use, should, appropriately. Before we focus on, should, let's quickly revisit what modal verbs are. Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. Some common examples include, can, might, must, and of course, should. Should is one of the most versatile modal verbs. Let's explore its main uses. 1. Advice or suggestion. You should study before the test. This implies a suggestion that it's a good idea to study. 2. Obligation. You should not drink and drive. This implies a strong obligation not to do something. 3. Probability or expectation. They should be here by now. This implies an expectation that they would have already arrived. When constructing sentences with should, follow this basic structure. 1. Affirmative. Subject plus should plus base form of the verb. E.g., he should go. 2. Negative. Subject plus should plus not plus base form of the verb. E.g., he should not go. 3. Question. Should plus subject plus base form of the verb? E.g., should he go? It's vital to differentiate, should, from other modal verbs. For instance, 1. Should, versus, must. While both can indicate obligation, must, is more forceful. You must stop, is stronger than, you should stop. 2. Should, versus, could, could, suggests a possibility, whereas, should, often gives advice. You could try this, is merely a suggestion, while, you should try this, is a more insistent recommendation. Here are a couple of pitfalls to avoid. 1. Avoiding double modals. You can't have two modal verbs directly next to each other. So, she should can go, is incorrect. Instead, say, she should be able to go. 2. Confusing past forms. Should, has a past form. Should have. E.g., you should have called, indicating regret. And there you have it. Mastering the use of, should, will not only help you ace your exams but also speak English more fluently. Keep practicing, and remember, every piece of knowledge gets you one step closer to language proficiency. Until next time, happy learning!